Hello and welcome to the return of the We Missed the Exit F1 show, previewing the Brazilian Grand Prix today. Sorry we've been away for a while, but we are back now, four races to go. Let's get into it. Mexican Grand Prix. Max Verstappen with the win, picking up 25 points. Lewis Hamilton gets second. Perez in his home Grand Prix, sitting on the podium, number three. Gasly got fourth. Leclerc, fifth. Sainz, sixth. Vettel, seventh. Reichen in eighth. Alonso, ninth. And Norris. Last man in the points, picking up one for McLaren. This is the Drivers' Championship as the end of the Mexico Grand Prix. Max Verstappen sits on top. He has a 11-point lead over Hamilton. Actually, this is after um, the spring qualifying uh, today, so uh, Max Verstappen, 11 point lead over Lewis Hamilton, uh, Valtteri Botas in third, Perez in fourth, Norris fifth, Leclerc sixth, Sainz seventh, Ricardo eighth, Gasly ninth, Alonso tenth, Akan eleventh, Vettel twelfth, Stroll thirteenth, Sonoda fourteenth, Russell fifteenth, Raikkonen sixteenth, Latifi seventeenth, Giovinazzi eighteenth, and Schumacher nineteenth, Mazepin. 20th technically 21st but uh that's another story and the constructor championships mercedes is still on top uh with 481.5 red bull in second ferrari third mclaren fourth alpine fifth alpha tori sixth aston martin seventh williams eighth out for mayo ninth and haas still with zero points uh, obviously, we got a great battle going on for first place here, um, even with the drivers, the Constructors' Championships also coming down to the last few races for first. Uh, third, we have a great battle between Ferrari and McLaren, and fifth, we have a great battle going on between Alpine and AlphaTauri, uh, tied at 106, so it'll be great to see what happens here in the last few races. Uh, the AlphaTauris have looked great lately, so we'll see what happens. All right, after the Brazilian Grand Prix sprint, uh, this is going to be the grid for tomorrow. Botas sitting P1, Verstappen P2, Sainz P3, uh, Perez P4, Norris P5, Leclerc P6, Gasly P7, Akan P8, Vettel P9, and Hamilton after his five uh, position grid penalty is gonna be P10. Uh, Botas and Verstappen were one, two at the start of the sprint and Verstappen had a bad start. Botas beat him to the to the corner, and Verstappen just never caught him. Uh, he was behind him, got close, but uh, Botas on the softs just uh, outmaneuvered Ham uh, Verstappen, and uh, Perez, for some reason, could never get around Sainz. Sainz just looked that much faster than Perez, so it'll be interesting to see. Uh, Sainz also on the softs, Perez on the mediums during the sprint, so... We'll see how much of that is a factor tomorrow during the race. Uh, this is the Brazilian Grand Prix. We've got uh, two DRS zones, a speed trap, so it'll be interesting to see uh, what happens during the race. Next, uh, sorry, two, uh, no, next week, that date's supposed to be <laughs> wrong. Uh, Qatar's next uh, race next week. Uh, we'll get that updated, new track. So don't have the typical map for it, but we got a great race. Uh, be interesting to see what happens. Very interesting track. See what happens with uh, this race and how it plays out for the championship. Uh, for this race, I'm going to go with Verstappen getting the win. Uh, Botas in second, and I think Perez is going to get third. Uh, Hamilton's going to fight through the pack. He's going to pick up some points, but I don't think he's going to be able to get around Perez. I think... Uh, Verstappen's going to be able to get around Botas this time, and I don't think Sainz will be able to hold off the uh, Red Bull. But it'll be interesting to see what happens uh, towards the bottom of that. But again, I got Verstappen 1, Botas 2, and Perez 3. Looking forward to the race, and hope you enjoy it.